Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this thing is pretty much ready to start up. Um, there's a few things I got to do, like cool or oil system. I need to prime all the lines and filter and get oil in the whole system. Um, I need to add some power steering fluid. Obviously, my radiator's out, so I need to get the radiator back in, and I'll probably just fill it with water for now until I actually know it runs and I know I have no coolant leaks so I'll do that and then I've kind of already gone through all the wiring one last time made sure everything was hooked up everything's got power glow plugs are working um, ECU is powered I can get into it with Ross the VCDS and then I just went around hooked up random like the uh, oil pressure sensor is hooked up into the factory Toyota dash so I know on the first start I can verify I actually have oil pressure which I don't know why I wouldn't motor was running but so I'm gonna start off by getting this oil system prime so I already did change the oil in the truck or in the motor um, so I'm gonna pull probably this line off here this one's coming out of the filter it's the exit I'll probably pull that line off throw it in a, a jug and crank it till I get oil here um, just to see how long it's gonna take I was I was gonna pull all these lines off or pull one off here and fill it with a funnel uh, but I'm gonna see how long it'll take to crank and fill this system um, but if it takes, like I said, if it takes too long, I'll probably just pull a line off and try to get a funnel in there and fill it that way. So let's get uh, get this line off and see how long it'll take. All right, so I got that feed line coming out of that filter run down here. And I just stuck a little tube on it. Just kind of direct that oil. And then just got an oil pan here. So I'm just going to crank it over until I get oil coming out of that line then I'll hook it back up and crank it some more to fill the cooler and then I'm gonna pull the return line off the turbo and crank it till I get oil into the turbo because it's a brand new turbo you don't want to start the thing with with no oil in it so let's get cranking on this thing Well, that wasn't too bad. We got oil. So I'm gonna hook that line back up. Well, I guess I can just pull that return line off of the turbo and crank it till I get oil coming out of there. And then I know the whole system is full. And that really shouldn't take too long. I mean, that, that I didn't fill that filter at all. Um, and it's a pretty big filter and it filled up pretty quick. So let's uh, get that set, put line back on and pull that return off. All right, got the same kind of setup there. So I pulled that return, got a hose, run down to a little drain pan. So I'm gonna crank that till I get oil out of there. And then I know the entire oil system has got oil in it. Well, we got oil. So yeah, that didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna. Coming through all these lines, so that's good to go. Um, get that line back on, and then I'll get the radiator back in it, put some water in it, put some power steering fluid in, um, and then we also gotta prime the fuel system. So I will show you guys all that when I get to it. 
All right, so the next thing we did is filled up the power steering fluid. So obviously when you start the truck, it's gonna fill the whole system, so you'll have to add more. Um, but we ain't got any leaks yet, so that's a good sign. So the fluid I'm running is the CF, CHF202, that's like the factory Volkswagen stuff. Um, I've heard a lot of people running what Toyota recommends and it will burn up the Volkswagen pump. So I have the Volkswagen pump and the Toyota steering box. So that that Volkswagen fluid should be fine in the, in the steering box and also keep the pump happy. So next on the agenda is we got to prime the fuel system. So I am going to throw a few gallons of diesel in the tank and show you guys what I'm doing to prime this thing. All right, so since I have the, uh, the lift pump in this thing, um, it's gonna be super easy to, to prime it. So what I got is, I just got an old jet ski battery. Got the ground, actually that fell off, gotta fix that. Um, got it grounded and then I just got my power. So I'm just gonna hit this and pull the relay out and just power the pump without turning the motor over. So just hit that pin, run the pump and these lines are, are pretty transparent so I should be able to see fuel coming up and then I got a uh, bottle um, to catch the diesel coming out of that line there. So I'm just gonna run that pump till I get fuel out of here. Then I'll hook that back up and we'll have to prime the injectors. And to do that, we're gonna have to crank the engine, but we can get fuel to the pump by just running the pump by itself. So let's do that. All right, so we got fuel to the pump. Um, so now what we gotta do is just crack these injectors, just the, the nuts on the top of the injector and crank the engine until we got a lot, quite a bit of fuel coming out of there. You want to pretty much soak a rag. Um, Cause if there's any air in these lines, the, the truck won't start, so hook my battery up and loosen I usually do two at a time so I'll do like these two get a bunch of fuel out of those then crack these ones and you might have to go back through and bleed them quite a bit because they if you have like I said any air in those lines they it won't start so you gotta crank it pretty good get a lot of a lot of the fuel out of there get get all the air out of the whole system so all right, so I got uh, three and four loose, and I just got got it wrapped up pretty good with uh, some towels. I don't want diesel all over everything, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna crank it till I get a decent amount of fuel out of here. Then I'll move to here, number one and two, and do the same thing, and then I'll probably go back through and do singles. So start with one, to crack one, crank it, tighten it back up, so on and so forth. Go through all four one more time. And if you got a lot of fuel coming out of there, it should be, uh, you should be able to get to fire up. So we'll give that a shot.
All right, guys, you saw me just put uh, some water in there. So that's what I'm gonna run for now. Uh, just some water to make sure I don't have any leaks, and then I'll switch over to this G40 uh, Xerox, so. Other than that, we got all the fluids in. We got oil, diesel, it's all primed, as you saw. So we are ready to attempt to fire this thing up. So, um, the next video on the channel is definitely something you're going to want to check out. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Either either it'll start or either we got more work to do. So, hope that you guys enjoy the video and definitely check back uh, in the next couple days. I'll have the next uh, attempt video, the attempt to start video up. So, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.